Hello folks, my name is Matthew Beetlemont and welcome to another trailer reaction video. Today we're going to look at the second trailer to the cryptozoological animated comedy Missing Link. So let's take a look. I offer you a glimpse of a legendary creature lost in time. Neither ape nor man, but a giant. He's had many names. Actually, I go by Susan. <laughs> <laughs> now, to find the place you belong, you need to keep a low profile. Um, a monster! Oh boy, that is gonna let in an awful dream. So let me see if I understand. You plan to travel around the world to the home of the Yeti. I know the secret ways through the mountains. You will see Gamu. Do not mention the chicken. The chicken got it, Zip. <laughs> Greetings, venerable Gamu. It is an honor. What's with the chicken? <laughs> it will not be easy, but we will find your place. <laughs> okay, where do I begin? Okay, it's good to see some stop motion animation back in the big screen, yes. I noticed that the Loch Ness Monster was uh, CGI. The humor ranged from subtle to slapstick. And subtle, subtle humor is like very, well, British. If it's uh, quiet and calm and relaxed, and not noisy, it is not physical, but dialogue heavy, in a calm sort of way, then it's British. It is subtle humor. Kind of like uh, Monty Python. But if it's physical, and w f noisy, and slapsticky, then it's slapstick. It's physical, actually physical comedy. Or American. If it's like noisy and, and slapsticky, then it's American like Looney Tunes. So I like it. Very well acted, very well animated. The voices are very well acted and uh, it's good to see a stop-motion Yeti and speaking of stop-motion Yetis, I just talked about it before. Let's just hope Charles Band's The Primevals get a proper release. We deserve to see that film. 13% or 14% was like, I don't know, compl compl funded. You can really use some help of dropping in checks. I'm trying to spread the word here, but anyway, I like the way it was executed. The animation and the part where the girl, the Yeti, uh, Susan, tries to put the girl in the train, but uh, he grabs the girl and like ding oops sorry and uh she like hits her head at near the window but he was trying to let her go through the window it kind of reminds me that one two things two movies one king kong where he grabs the girl and uh takes her out the window that was in king kong the original i love that movie 
And uh, two, uh, it also reminds me of the animated 1972 tearjerker Snoopy Come Home, where Snoopy is escaping this the house of this crazy animal lover, and he escapes out the door. Oh, uh, forgot Woodstock. So he sticks his hand into the mail slot of the door, grabs Woodstock, pump, pump, and then turns around, foom, like he puts him inside. And it is a uh, hilarious, a little funny scene for a sad film, but all in all, I, I can't wait to see Missing Link. It is a funny film. I like stop motion. And uh, what are your thoughts on it? Oh, funny, yeah, that, that scene that I was talking about earlier, it's also a nice little tribute to King Kong because Kong was stop motion animated. He grabs a girl. But anyway, speaking of Kong, don't forget to see an extended edition of my documentary, Hail to the King, A King Named Kong. Don't miss it. It's coming out sometime this summer. I think. Depends. Because I'm busy with work and finding jobs, and uh, that's too personal for me to explain. So, this is Matthew Beal saying don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!